Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to look at a young lady named Tiffany from Godiva Secret Wigs in two colors. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, this is Coco's Hair Solutions and I'm Coco. Today we're going to look at a young lady named Tiffany. Tiffany is another bestseller from Gold, uh, Godiva Secret Wigs and this is what she looks like in their online catalog. She's a, a longer bob with lots of layering in the back of her, but we're gonna take a good look at her in two colors. We're going to look at Almond Roca and Silverstone. So let's take a look at her cap construction. So her cap construction consists of a completely closed lace crown and top. She has a one half inch um, velveteen ribbon across the front hairline. Um, and of course, this gives us lots of permatease up on top. We have a closed ear tab with stitching on the underneath side of that with the hair's fibers stitched in there. So that's a really nice thing. And of course, they have metal stays inside them as well. We have a closed extended nape which is really comfortable because it's that nice velveteen fabric again. And then we have the little bra-like adjusters to tighten up the wig in case you need it. Now, Tiffany comes in 19 non-rooted colors. She comes in an average and a large size. So 19 non-rooted and five rooted colors. Now this happens to be the uh, Almond Roca and she's got lots and lots of beautiful dimension and highlights and low lights. She's got some ashy blonde and some warm blonde in her. She's got a little bit of a strawberry brown, a warm brown undertone. And then of course, in the back, look at all the dimension you get to see with the colors on these. And then it gets darker around the nape. This is not a rooted color, but it does look like a salon type of hair tr uh, color treatment. So that's gonna be really nice. What I have on right now is Taylor from Godiva Secret Wigs. And I have done a review on her. She's in the works, so just look for her. And uh, she's a really nice long wig. Anyway, let's go ahead and try on Tiffany. Okay, this is Tiffany right out of the bag. Yes, Godiva Secret sheep ships their wigs in bags, Ziploc bags. So they're gonna get oh, your wig in a bag like this. And I have found that to be an adequate shipping uh, method. Okay, so what we've got here is a long bob. The cap feels very comfortable to me. Um, I have a tendency to experience snugger fits with Godiva Secret wigs, but this one is fitting fine. Okay, so you can see she is a little bit of a longer bob, kind of a bob. What they like to advertise her as is business in the front and party in the back. Look at those layers. Oh, what fun. Let's go ahead and do a spin, okay? But you can see the beautiful highlights. This is Almond Roca. It's not, I thought it would be too much, but it is not. It is so pretty. I really like it. I really like the uh, highlights and the lowlights in this. Okay, again, as with all wigs, you're going to need to customize it, you know, with the bangs, either cut them if you want them shorter, um, sweep them off to the side if you want. Now let's see what she does, okay? This, is, this was kind of straight out of the bag. She wanted to part on the left, which it looks great. Okay, let's see if we can part it on the right. We should be able to because of that closed cap construction and all of the, uh, oh yeah. So we can, we can mix it up. We can use it one way and then refresh the look by parting it on the other side. Um, you know, if you want to have your bangs follow suit, like I usually have a little open openness where the part usually is. But here again, You've still got all the party in the back. Isn't it cute? And let's see, what else can we do? Um, just straight here. Let's try her behind the ears. Now I have, that's, there we go. I have already treated my sideburns with a brown root cover so that my gray doesn't show up quite so starkly against this. Now, oh, look at that. She wants to flip a little bit right here. 
Oh, that's cute, huh? Oh, and a headband, you could, you could see that, couldn't you? Yeah, I could too. And of course, some real pretty ear earrings, if you like. I'm just wearing simple hoops today. And of course, my Roma necklace, which I absolutely love that line of jewelry. I have a discount for you guys down below, 25% anytime. I'll put it down below in the box. Anyway, but this is really cute, having it flip out a little bit like this. Okay, well, let's try some water. Okay, water. Let's see what happens when we get her a little bit wet. Okay, now with these longer dimensions, we have five inches in the front, six and a half at the crown, and four at the nape. Now, we don't have any side measurements, but my guess would be that the side here is about eight inches, nine inches right here, but it's layered. So here you can see the shorter ends. So we are going to get not too spiky of a look, but just a little bit of difference in the texture because of the added moisture. So let's, we'll just do it this way. We're gonna go back. And of course, you can leave out a tiny sideburn if you like, bring out some, or just go ahead and put it behind your ears. I think because it's so long right here on the side, um, it doesn't look quite right if I leave that out as a sideburn. But you can get this kind of a look. I mean, it's just very, very cute and fresh. Let's see. How did the definition of the curls back there look? This is a fun little wig. It's really cute. It could actually be kind of refreshing, you know, for summertime, it's a little bit shorter. It does cover my nape quite a bit, doesn't it? And so at four inches, you're gonna get some decent coverage. So it's not gonna to look too much too short. And so if you're transitioning from longer hair to maybe something for summertime, this might be a great wig for you to play with and to have in your wig wardrobe because it can be versatile in that respect. So you can have it behind your ears, even you know, with all of the moisture and the water, we can make it look a little fresher. Um, and then, you know, of course, the option of bringing it forward and having the sides look a little bit more conservative or even maybe even dressy. You know, we could, we could dress this up. Let's see. One of my favorite headbands. Yeah, that's cute. Maybe even a barrette. To add a little bit of bling, you could even add it over on the other side as well. But she looks great just by herself all the way around. Did I do a spin with them all on the coming straight down? So this is Tiffany in the color Almond Roca. Let's try her on in Silverstone. Okay, well here she is. And of course, we've got to work with her. She's flipping, but she's meant to be torn under. But if you want her to flip, you can get her to flip. Let's take a look. She looks rather conservative, just like they say in the front, doesn't she? Let's try. She's kind of not parting anywhere. Okay, a little bit more. So let's take a look at her just at first spin. I want to play with those curls in the back a little bit, get them freshened up. All right, let's let's do spin. Okay, so she does have a tiny bit of an A-line appearance, tiny, but it's not a true A-line, I would call. How's the party back there? People having fun? <laughs> so this is Silverstone, that beautiful silver uh, with the white around the face, white around the bangs and the face that gradually goes to a darker gray in the back. And I counted them, there's 26 wefts, 26 rows of wefts in this, in this wig, in both wigs, 26 of them. That's a lot, that's a lot. Okay, so 
there you go very simple i think she's kind of a shake and go what do you think okay we could now if i didn't treat my sideburns i probably would be able to have my natural sh uh, hair color show because my sideburns are a gray they're really whitish bluish gray okay and then here she is now you can make sure and have her curled under obviously or we could flip her up couldn't we just like the other one we could take and uh no i found a one way is to back comb the area that you want to change a little bit okay i'm gonna finger comb that down a little bit right here behind my ear but look at the flip i got you can change the lower edge of these wigs by just doing a little bit of back combing and play with it a little bit more. There. Smooth out that top behind my ear. I don't want it to stick out my ears any more than they already are, right? <laughs> oh, fun. Well, there you go. Isn't she kind of cute? Yeah. Great for summer. I think she'd be a great shorter hairstyle. But this is Tiffany in Silverstone. And of course, you saw her in um, Almadroca right before this. So anyway, whatever you like to do with these wigs, it's a lot of fun. Adding water, barrettes, clips, all of the above. So this is Tiffany. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this and it was informational. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And be sure and click that button as well so you'll be notified when I release new videos. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time at Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.